Josiah, you're up. And hey Michael, thanks so much for this time. Scott's question about children really touched me because I have a three and a five year old and they have never lived in a house that is not 69 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's like the reality. They're five and three years old. And so your thing about playing outside and free time, like how do you balance the, the pressures of today of out to dinner and the other parents give their kid a tablet and I tell my kids people over devices and why does everybody else? And so there's all these societal pressures to conform and to adapt. And so how do you embrace and overcome that with a five and a three-year-old and all the external things that play into raising a child today? Yeah, I think that's a really good question. Cause I do, I do think that there is a growing group of parents who are like, I want to have my kid go outside and come back when the street lights are on. The reason I don't is because all the other parents are going to call the cops on me. <laughs> right. And so I think that if you can have, I mean, having conversations with other parents, trying to find like-minded parents and see if you can get your kids to um, play together in a way that feels less structured would be really useful. Um, I do think the fact, I do think having less uh, structure in some sorts of play is important. Because a lot of times we'll be like, all right, well, we'll get our kids to socialize under this context of like little league or under this context of dance class. But it's like, you really want them to have these times where they're being imaginative, figuring out games, having to establish their own rules. And you're always going to have that one kid who's like the rule breaker. So then the other kids have to like navigate. All right. How do we deal with a, new, a rule breaker? Like you really need them to figure out these things, these skill skills that we all have as adults, but we picked up as child as kids, we just don't even realize it. We picked them up on the playground. So if we take away the playground, that becomes a lot harder later in life. Um, there's a book that I think is called Free Range Parenting that has some ideas. It's a little old now, but she might've updated it. Um, there's some stuff in there. So yeah, I would, I would go, I would check out that book. Awesome.